Hello and welcome to the channel. Cohere is one of those companies which always provide refreshingly useful tooling. And most of the time it's free or comes up with a lot of free credits. That is why I was quite pleasantly surprised when I saw a new tool prompt tuner from them today. And that is still in beta, but the performance is really amazing. And the reason why I think that this is very timely and very useful is because if you have ever worked in an AI environment, in the production environment, you might have noticed that most of the AI engineers spend approximately 20 to 30% of their time on prompt engineering. Now here is the thing. <clears throat> we have all of these outstanding large language models, no matter if they are open source or closed source. Still, it is a valid fact that you have to guide those models in a specific way so that you would be able to get the answer you want. Now, I have seen some people who try some prompts and then they give up and then this straight up move towards fine tuning the model. I don't think so. That's a good approach. If you're not getting the desired output from a model, make sure that your prompt is optimal. That is the safest, quickest and cheapest way to get optimal response from large language models. And trust me when I say that 30 to 50% of the time you can resolve your issues by a good prompt. It's not some sort of understatement. So <clears throat> right away jumping to your rag or your fine tuning or full fine tuning or whatever you are trying to do, try to make sure that your prompt is optimal. Crafting the perfect prompt present challenges, I agree, even for experts due to the stochastic nature of LLMs. Now, when I say that LLMs have stochastic nature, what it means in simple words is the word stochastic has derived from the Greek word stochos. It means guess. If you think about it, the responses of LLMs are random. They are not deterministic most of the time. Even if you set the temperature to zero, sometimes you get a different response. Maybe it would be semantically similar, but again. So stochastic means that the model's responses are not always deterministic. So that is why it is really hard to come up with an optimal prompt, which will also take care of these probabilities, these guesswork or aim work, and would still maintain the quality of the response. Now, that is where tools like prompt tuner can help a lot. Using prompt tuner can lead to a more robust workflow because this tool not only manually automates the whole workflow of prompt engineering, but also it can unlock model capabilities that can be difficult to achieve through traditional prompt engineering. Cohere has <clears throat> already uh, evaluated this prompt tuner and they have successfully optimized prompts in 94% of use cases. It also proved valuable in facilitating transitions to new models and scaling to new use cases, where the time spent on prompt engineering can further increase to 40%. Optimizing with prompt tuner streamlines the development process and boosts overall efficiency. Now, if you look at this uh, dashboard within Cohere, and by the way, you can simply go to their website, cohere.com, sign up with your email address, and then you will have a free account there, which you can easily use. And once you logged in, let's have a quick look at what exactly this prompt tuner does. So there are two things which you can do with prompt tuner. First, you provide the initial prompt you wish to optimize, and then you define criteria important to your goals and objectives, such as word count, output format, or hallucination checks. You can even define, you know, your own custom samples for the prompt to follow. And then this prompt tuner <clears throat> then iterates through various prompts modifications, evaluating each against the selected criteria to determine the most effective prompt configuration. So let's start using it. So this is a text box where you uh, give your own suboptimal prompt or the prompt you want to fix. So let me first um, give it a suboptimal prompt and then we will see how it optimizes it. So let me paste it. Now, 
this prompt is bad for several reasons it is too vague and open ended and you can read through it for example you see it says write me a story about a thing that happens with a person and stuff and it should be like really good and all that stuff so not only this prompt is vague but also doesn't really uh, you know give us any requirement in crystal clear way it contains too many conflicting requirements and also it asks for a huge amount of content without providing enough guidance or structure it tries to dictate the style and tone of the writing which may limit the ai model's creativity and it uses vague and subjective terms like really good interesting without providing clear criteria for what those terms mean now we want our prompt tuner to make sure that it it is optimized on the right hand side you can select your model i'm just going to go with command r and then because these are the coherence model by the way now on the right hand side there are very very good stuff your own custom criteria or your rule base for example you want the response to be always grounded so what it means is that whatever you have set in uh, your prompt should be followed by the model and then whether if your prompt contains json format and you want to validate it you can simply select it if you want your prompt to be between this like you want it to be between um 100 to 150 and not more than that you can limit it with the help of this so let me click on optimize report now and it is going to run and give you an optimized one and it is going to appear here so let's wait for it it is optimizing it and it is also quite interesting to observe how it is working at the top it is calculating scores for initial prompt it's still working it is because it's a free tier so it takes bit of a time and then there you go so we have our uh, <clears throat> optimized prompt here you can also just select this one or maybe just use this one so you see now it is quite terse it says write me a story about a thing that happened with a person and stuff and then all that stuff so if you want to see the difference just click here and then expand one line now you are not satisfied with it and it is still running the iteration by the way so if you are already satisfied just copy it and use it or in other words you just um uh, wait for it and let it complete the whole 10 iterations and then you'll be surprised how good the prompt quality would be okay so you can see that the optimization optimization is completed now you can even rerun it and if you come down you will see this is optimized report and look at this write a captivating and immersive novel set in the near future that seamlessly blends action and all that stuff it has really changed the prompt on its head it has also given you the sample generation with it it has even written the full novel and these are few of the criteria score which it has given you amazing stuff now another cool thing which i wanted to show you is custom criteria so on the right hand side when you check it out maybe i'll just go back to the prompt tuner and then from here if you click on descriptive and click on another here you can even give your own sample prompt so you give your bad prompt here and then you just give it your sample something like that you know write a thousand word sentence a uh, science fiction novel except set in futuristic and all that stuff and then i'll just keep it to 150 and then you also say okay grounded and then click on optimize report then it is going to run it optimization started successfully it is running here you can even stop it if you click on run history it is going to give you your previous history too so let's wait for it to this one to finish so now you see when you come back you don't see your existing job because you can run multiple jobs at the same time so go to run history and you see in the status this one is in progress so click on view and you should be able to watch what is happening with your uh, new job so let's wait for this one to finish and the optimization is complete and you can see that if you scroll down this is a new one which looks really good and quite grounded in your sample here on the right hand side and then there is a completion sample too which is quite good 
So all in all, really amazing stuff by Cohere as usual. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what you think. Try it out. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you.